The streetcars are not running right now. They simply can't. They lost power at their substations, and this is catching many riders off guard. Unveiled in 2007, the South Lake Union streetcar became a new mode of transportation for people between SLU and downtown Seattle. It's a new streetcar smell. It was a $50 million project that runs 1.3 miles through downtown Seattle streets. But now the cars have halted an unplanned closure after the system lost power from the two substations. We understand this can be frustrating for the customers. We're working as, as hard as we can to get this resolved as quickly as possible. SDOT and King County Metro are working together to get the streetcars back up and running, but they need parts from overseas. The supply chain on this is uh, the biggest challenge. Uh, these are highly specialized parts. Not the kind of thing you can just go to a Home Depot and pick up, obviously. And this closure came as a surprise to many people who use it. I'm kind of just assuming yeah. it's down for the count for quite some time. Erica Gamet says a streetcar is packed in the summer. As of June, average ridership is around 500 passengers a day. I literally got on one day and was so confused why it was full and there was nowhere to sit. Erica also relies on the streetcar to run errands. I'm on a cane so I can walk there, but sometimes it just takes me so long that I don't want to and I might need to go down all the way to Westlake and then down near the lake, you know. So for now, riders will use the bus until the streetcars resume service. I've got this, you know, so I can. <laughs> there are some other options for people to get around. Um, Metro Route 40, 70 and Rapid Ride Sea Line are all good options. I asked SDOT about how much it will cost for these repairs and also who will pay for it. They're working to figure that out at this moment. And of course, once we learn more about when the streetcars will be back up and running, we'll be sure to let you know. In South Lake Union tonight, Madison Wade, King 5 News. And in a statement, Council Member Rob Saka, chair of Seattle's Transportation Committee, said in part, quote, Seattle needs to re-examine our services to better optimize transit investments for areas with greater need and impact.